All right, I'm in the garage, and uh, I'm starting my new project. I'm building a drift track. This was a my old mountain bike, and I put it in the vise. Well, I cut it, and then I put it in the vise. I just ground it all down, get the, the tabs off of there. This is a one by one square tube. It's 11 gauge thick, which is almost eighth inch, I believe. And uh, about a 24 foot section, they do a courtesy cut and they cut it in half for you, for free. So I was able to stick in my truck, I had uh, two 12 foot sections. That was uh, 34 bucks for all that. So I had to, had to buy it. I thought it was gonna be a way more money than that. Uh, so I cut a, well, you're gonna have to sit and mock this up yourself and see how you want it to sit. But I just kind of wedged that in the door of the garage, the handlebars, just to kind of get it where I wanted it. Then I sat down on this, because I figured that's about how high it's gonna sit. So I cut it, or I sit sitting on it, and I took a tape measure and I measured down to where I thought the bend was gonna have to be. So that was 26 inches, and then I measured from there to where I thought the back of the seat would be, or where it's gonna meet the cross tubing, where I'm gonna put the the frame for the motor and everything. So that's roughly where I need to. I can cut it shorter if I need to, um, but it was a 42 inch section. And then I cut it there, put it in the vise, bent it, and you can see I have it all welded up there too. I still want to, when I get to it, I'm going to flip it over and weld the bottom side of it. But right now I'm working on measuring a cross beam here from there to here. And uh, just so it gives it more top, top structure, make this thing stronger. I'm probably going to add a gusset or maybe a cross thing to there too just to keep it nice and strong and then I don't have my axle yet I'll show you that when it gets here um, so I need that and the wheels and everything to kind of mock up how I want the rear I might just cut this a little bit shorter then build like a 24 inch section not even maybe smaller it's just so I can have the axle right about here and then the motor is set behind it because the motor rotates counterclockwise and that's the motor over here don't mind my mess I'm just cleaning it up but it's a uh, Harbor Freight I had a coupon for it and it's uh, the Predator 212 six and a half horse motor uh, it's like a Honda clone a lot of people have good luck with them we'll try it out but for a hundred dollars can't really beat that and then uh, I'll show you the axle kit and uh, how much that costs when when I get that, and then uh, has the front brake that works, so that's gonna be the only brake on it. I'm gonna end up putting that brake on these handlebars. These are off my buddy's old four wheeler. They're bent. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut that bars off and weld these on there eventually, because that is the. I don't know if the, I didn't measure that, but I know for a fact that this is a seven eighth, so a motorcycle throttle grip or ATV thumb throttle will work on there and I'm probably gonna end up moving the brake to that side just so no confusion because <laughs> I, I used to ride in my, my motorcycle and uh, the brakes you know clearly on the front for the front brakes on the front right handlebar uh, there's no gonna be no rear brake just the front one should be enough. I mean, I don't know how fast it's gonna go. But all right, so this is what I came up with. Just made a triangulated piece, and uh, just cut it there, just on a nice angle. It's got that nice and going. And then down here, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. I don't want to bring a big piece across because I don't want to hit my fucking balls. <laughs> so. Uh, if I brought it back there, it'd hit me in the fucking balls, and up there it probably would too, because it changed the fucking angle to make it higher. So I just took a, I think it's six or seven inch piece here, and then I cut a hell of an angle this way and a little angle there, and then just there's a little gap in the center, and I just welded it solid. You can see my welds were getting better, and I'm playing with the settings, and uh, not the best welder, but I can make shit stick. But this side was definitely. Uh, 
definitely getting better. Nice and flat over. Up here, I think I had some paint, and that's why it's a little shitty, but I mean, plenty of penetration. And welded pretty nice. Oh. I'm not sure if I want to keep going more. Like I said, I don't have the axle yet. And I could probably wing it, but I don't have any kind of dimensions. I know the axle is going to be 40 inches wide. Then I'm gonna need, I don't know the offset of the wheels either and where they're going to sit. So if I make it too wide, then I'm going to end up cutting it down. Be a pain in the ass, so I think I might just leave it be. I might put the bars on it. Yeah, or I might wait so I have them angled properly and where I want them when everything's done. I think that'd probably be a better route. But this is what I've gotten done so far. I need to order a throttle cable and now to find a seat. I'm probably gonna go to tractor supply and get a tractor seat, or I'll look through my horde pile at home and see what I can come up with. But not bad for. I mean, got less than an hour into this cutting and grinding and fitting everything, and I'm not going off any blueprints. This is just what's in my head and what I'm going with. Just, I mean, just got a vise, piece of metal, some grinders, and I'm just attacking it and seeing how I want to do it.